Hi, this is Maria from Kinder Crave once again, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about favicons, what they are, why they're important, and how you install one on your blog. A favicon is sort of short for the two words, favorite icon, and it's that little image that gets displayed in the address bar next to a favorite website. It also gets displayed anytime that favorite website is added to your favorites or your bookmark list. It's the the blue and the white S for Facebook. You know, all of these little tiny images are favicons, and they're very helpful for branding your website. It works very similar to a blog button. It's just much smaller and a little bit less obvious, but still very, very important. Um, favicons get displayed in the address bar, in the favorites bar or toolbar when you save something, and also on the tab when your blog or your website is open. So. It's an image that keeps reappearing, so and it's important to make it match your site so that people know and are reminded of where they are, and it kind of leaves a little bit more of a strong impression in their minds when they visit. All of your blogs, if you are a blogger user, come pre-installed with the blogger favicon. It's the orange and white button that you've probably seen a million times. This is what's the default setting on your blog and it's very simple to swap out. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that so that you can stop advertising for blogger and start branding for yourself. Um, when I made my favicon, you can use any kind of regular old software to create one. I made mine in pages. Um, I'm a Mac user so I just set up a document in pages. Here's what I use. I use this for lots of little just tinkering things. Um, I did not want to use my entire blog button. A lot of bloggers do use their blog button, but mine did not look very attractive. Um, because of the tiny space, favicons can only be 16 by 16 pixels. And when I took my full-size blog button and turned it into 16 by 16 pixels, it turned out like this. Uh, it's kind of a blob. And there's nothing distinct about it at all. It's just sort of a pinky colored box. Um, so what I decided to do, since I have so many dots on my uh, on my blog, I wanted to kind of stick with that cream colored dot theme. So I created a cream colored dot with my pink rim around it. And then all that I did was, since I'm a Mac user and this is how pages works. I saved mine as a PDF and then I uh, changed the formatting to like a JPEG file type, trimmed it, cropped it down and resized it to make it the 16 by 16 pixels. If you are a publisher user or if you use Microsoft PowerPoint, you'll get to save yourself a step because if you create any kind of simple logo or design right in those, it saves, you can save it as a JPEG, then just crop it and resize it from there. So this is what I did, and my final favicon ended up looking like this. Uh, it's very simple. It's just my, you know, it's very tiny because it has to fit on that tiny tab, but you can more clearly see the cream-colored circle with the rain around it. So once you have this designed and resized to 16 by 16 pixels, you will be ready to install it on your blog. If you're a Mac user, I can give you a quick quick lesson on resizing it. Um, you just open the picture, in preview go to tools, adjust size, and then type in your size. 16 by 16 is mine. You know I could make it 20, but I need it to be 16 by 16. And then when you're done just hit OK. Go ahead and save your file. PC users, I'm sure you can easily figure out how to resize yours as well. Okay, so once you have it resized to 16 by 16 pixels, you'll be ready to go. Um, you log into your blogger account, and you need to go to layout. And by now, I'm guessing you're pretty well versed in all of these gadgets and installing them here. But right at the top, it says favicon. Right now, yours is either blank or it has that orange B. All that you need to do is go to edit. And... I currently have one. If there's something pre-installed there, just go ahead and click Remove. And then you need to browse to find your file. Mine's my favicon. And I'll open it. 
and it's too large. Let's see. Maybe this one will work. I've been tinkering a lot. <laughs> Here it is, the Kinder Craze Favicon. There's my file. Go ahead and click Open, and then click Save. And it might take a few minutes, maybe even an hour or so, before it kicks in. But once it is fully installed, sometimes it just takes Blogger a little while to get it ready and installed for you, um, you will have your new favicon or your favorite icon installed. And it will help people identify your blog even more. I hope this was very helpful to you and have a wonderful day. Bye!